Hello and welcome to a Filmixologist, the place on the internet thingy where we go about things carefully. Uh, case in point, these units I've got here, these are the Lorto DHLA48 Turbo Cops, original Turbo Cops. And therefore, what we're going to be doing in this episode is we're going to prepare all the pieces, so cleaned and ready for assembly, and in the on a later episode what we're going to do is we're going to do the final assembly with all the details um so what do I, what do i say we go carefully because uh i'll show you in a minute kind of where we're at with with the carbs but also i've been quite busy because i had to deploy uh, my secret weapon of cleaning And also, uh, I had to um, uh, give you a little insight about my kind of blasting cabinet because I want uh, the blasting cabinet to be kind of absolutely brand new for when I start doing these pieces right now. Okay, so why don't I give you a behind the scenes look, you know, a couple of bits and bobs. Uh, check this out, the amount of 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 residue that came from my dust extractor which is here uh, which I need to kind of redo and now I'm obviously going to change the bag in there so that I've got my dust extractor and as you can see here wait a minute let me turn this on as you can see here this is completely empty, so new blasting media is going to come in there. So hopefully we can, you know, get a awesome finish, mint on those Deloto carbs. And also the other thing that I've done is to, um, I have procured a significant amount of spare parts. So these are, this is a, this is a, like an original Delorto kind of spare set guarnizioni uh, for the DRLA48 turbo and then we've got here we've got some small spares um, so these are the diaphragms for the accelerator pumps these are needle and seat assemblies these are idle mixture screws that I'm going to replace this this and this become the turbo seals and these are the um, the throttle plate um, screws so let's make a start uh, and try and kind of blast these units uh, and get them absolutely brilliant for uh, their reassembly. And then what I, what I need to do is I'm going to start, I need to start working on the shafts. Okay, now here's where we're going to get into a bit of kind of heavy detail in terms of um, Delorto and what are the well, what the strategy that we're going to use to get shafted um, and I've got all of the different um, a lot of material here uh, a lot of money as well you're gonna see you're gonna see it in a minute we've got the basically the basis of the carbs and these are the shafts that came you know with the unit reason I'm not going to reuse this one is because look at this uh, it is in not not a great condition um, and this one is probably the better one of, of the two um, it doesn't wobble uh, but still I've got a bit of a problem and I'm going to show you by uh, considering this so I bought two sets of shafts so I've got these two shafts here uh, by the way these are brand new original shafts and a set of these yeah so what are the differences between the two so let me put them side by side and see if we can if we can see it uh, let me just grab this here there we go it's about there okay so now so now what you can see here is that I've got the shafts pretty much lined up and as you can see, this one has a is slightly longer than this one. Yeah. Why? Why is that? Because the Lorto DRLAs have basically 
two different configurations that require different shafts yeah so let me bring a bit closer here so <clears throat> for the for the ones that are the shorter shafts kind of like this one they are meant to have an inline configuration now what is an inline configuration is basically the way that i've set them up here yeah you've got you've got two calves maybe a four cylinder engine uh, Fiat, Ford, whatever, and the calves are meant to are meant to work this way, and are meant to sit side by side. So you have the slightly shorter shafts, like so. Uh, imagine, imagine for a minute that they are they they are properly placed. So so, so I'm now I'm just I'm just putting it there for for effect, and you've got some sort of linkage between those two calves that goes just about there yeah that is the inline configuration as you can see from here these calves were built for um kind of side by side or a boxer configuration so let me show you what that entails so in a boxer configuration the calves are like this imagine kind of an engine that has two banks one here and one here this they they could be much further away than this and here is where the long shafts yeah the shafts that have a bit longer here come into play because the long shafts basically the um how it how it works is that you have got the following pieces you've got this linkage here um, obviously, I need to I need to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of finding there so 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 that it so that it comes properly. But essentially, you've got this linkage here. This goes like so, yeah, and it's gonna come this way, and it's gonna be actuated like so, and the other one is gonna be kind of like this one and same dealio so you've got you so you've got this this kind of arm mechanism goes with this there and there uh, goes on this shaft over there here is what it would look like if you had them uh, kind of in the car essentially so I just need to need to put them need to put them like like so by the way incidentally look at the at the complexity of one of these because let's count how many pieces uh, do you need you need one two because there's a separate piece three four bits to make a linkage which is crazy it's nuts uh, and on all of these pieces have have kind of their own value uh, so to speak so this this can get quite uh, expensive uh, when you think about it so now what we need to do is we need to start preparing cleaning everything and making sure that everything is perfect to kind of commence uh, the assembly the assembly process but at least you know now how do the how do the linkages uh, kind of work okay so this is where the most important aspect of a Delorto turbo carb uh, comes uh, to the fore which is the sealing of the shaft so as you can see I've, I've taken the the first one out just to check uh, for condition and unfortunately I'm gonna have to re renew them all because this um, this o-ring it's not it's a, it's not as supple as you would have um, so I've got obviously new o-rings new everything um, so the, it's not as supple as a brand new o-ring so therefore the sealing wouldn't have been that great I think it probably would have worked for a bit but this is already showing signs of um you know the 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 o-rings they get basically hard and what happens is that they don't seal very well so 
Well, how, well, what's the order of integration then? So you've got first this O-ring, then this, and then you've got this star seal that goes on top of it in order to seal it, and it goes right there. So I'm going to have to do kind of all four corners of it. Um, but, you know, it was, it was, I'm, I'm glad I checked uh, because it may have worked for a little bit but then it would have it would have needed kind of all of the work done to it anyway so you might as well especially if you're changing a brand new shaft you might as well do all of this and um, so you know that you you're not gonna have to take the carb apart uh, pretty much ever again okay so it turns out there's a reason why uh, these things are so rare and people don't generally want to rebuild the shafts it's because it's an absolute nightmare uh, to do this job so now in a, in a minute i'm gonna i'm gonna show you kind of what are what are the what are the components uh, that you need in order to do this or at least the way that i worked it out obviously if you got the eyesight of a hawk you know good on you you're not gonna need a magnifying glass quite a powerful magnifying glass actually and I've got this little stand there because I need I need two hands to do the job so I can't be holding uh, the magnifying glass so I have to do it kind of this way but additionally you're gonna need more stuff yeah you're gonna need more lights than a football stadium and really close to it because if not it's gonna be too dark and you're not gonna be able to see so I'll show you what's the procedure that I've done uh, a little bit closer. Let me let me put this to one side for a minute. So it starts with this. I'm using this as a pilot. Yeah. So as something that fits in is the more or less the right uh, diameter. And what it does is it allows me, well, or it has allowed me to center center this especially the the smallest one of in this which is sorry this yeah which is the the inner o-ring um it has allowed me to center this on there so that then i could put the the star washer on top of it like so yeah but what happened if you if you don't have this this pilot here uh, is very difficult for for this little um, o-ring here to sit true um, with in there so that's why I'm, so that's why I'm, I'm saying that you need the pilot um, holding it kind of center and then you can put the uh, this star washer thing and all the while uh, well, I, I, again, unless you've got the eyesight of a hawk, what you're going to need is you're going to need a magnifying glass that is going to allow you to <coughs> see exactly what it is you're doing. Again, maybe it's me that my eyesight is not, it's not the best, but this is a very, very small piece in itself. Yeah, this piece is quite small, so therefore, I think for, for me at least, I do need the magnifying glass kind of to see what I'm doing and to make sure that it's down uh, kind of properly. So, this is an absolute nightmare job and I still need to do three more. Okay, so now as you can see, we've got the shafts um, set up the, the, the way we want them to. And you remember that we marked the throttle plates with the holes they went. So this is 3-3 three, three, and this is 4-4. Four, four. So therefore we're gonna put the we're gonna set the throttle plates right where they should have been. And basically we need to just put them like so. The first one can be a little bit tricky set but look I got in the first go so what, what you want to do really is obviously I need to change move this a tiny bit there we go 
but what you want is for all the progression holes to be properly covered and and the throttle blade to be seated properly so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab gonna grab this and what we're doing at the moment is merely setting it in place we're not necessarily gonna tighten it too much because what we need to do is just set um, the number four yeah which is this one and here's where the there and you have to always try and and this is where it gets tricky because you need to close it like so let's have a look and yes so you can see now that the that the progression holes are covered so that's good i mean obviously it helps that that i'm putting uh, the throttle plates back in the order they were There you go, this is very nice. So generally I don't like wasting my time. So when it, when it happens to me in the workshop, um, I get very annoyed. Um, case in point, this unit's here. Because when I try to kind of close the shaft, because uh, I'm gonna go with an inline uh, shaft, I decided to, to change the, the setup to an inline one and I had this shaft that I bought that was supposed to be for a 48 well guess what when I tried to when I tried to pull the shaft put the put the throttle plates in there it turns out it's not for a 48 it's for a 45 so the shaft doesn't doesn't fit great so therefore now I have to kind of repurchase everything and get stuff kind of from the from the parts guy so this is a bit kind of frustrating but let's say the basics of, of how to how to seal the shafts uh, are in they are correct um, so I'm gonna have to end this video here because obviously I need to kind of chase all the parts and and do all the all the installation of the throttle plates again uh, with the right shaft hopefully uh, so anyway um, what I have to do is, uh, if you got any questions, just put it down in the comments, but if not, I'll see you in the next episode where hopefully, you know, we'll get these units <clears throat> up and running again.